Yeah. You guys involved? No, we were going to pay for Okay. I'll be right back with you guys. Log down, please. Yeah. Let's go. Two four four. Tom Henry. Tom. What did you guys see, man? Yes. Good man, yourself? Good night. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Uh, my friend yourself made the call in. Uh, well, we were, we were sitting over here, and uh, we heard the car coming around through here. She clipped, clipped, and bounced. Um, by the time I ran over here, she hopped out of the passenger side. I thought she was the passenger. And I kept knocking on the driver's door, and it turned out she was the driver. Um, from there, she hopped out of the car, got behind us, like, you can get this off, you can get this off. And obviously, she's intoxicated. Um, I started moving from the signage out of the road, just so in case the people came through. And then I pulled the keys out and I threw them in the back seat, just so because she kept trying to drive it out. Um, and then you all showed up. Okay, so. so there was nobody else inside the vehicle? No, sir. And, you, and you saw her coming around, headed north, she and then came east? from this way, hot run like hell. And I was like, she's not going to clear that. And sure enough, she took out everything here. Okay. So, but I did move on. Sorry, I did move stuff out of this road. Oh, no, that's fine. Do you have an idea on you by chance? Yeah, of course. But she kept saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, you can fix this, you can fix this, and don't call the cops, don't go to jail, and everything like that. Okay. Yeah, she's fluent in English and Spanish, she knows her first name and last name, she knows where she's from, but okay. I asked her to sit, it took because about three seconds. Were you guys sitting inside of a car, outside of a car? No, sir. You guys are probably about, what, 70 yards away from it? Yeah, I guess it's like about 400 feet. Alright. What's a good address for you? Um. What's the contact number? Okay, and who else did you say saw? All three, all four of us saw it. Um, Giselle was the one that made the phone call to get you all here. You made the phone call? Yes, I did. Can I get your information real quick? Yes. Yeah. Where were you at? I was right there with them. I was looking at right there. So all you guys were in the same place? Yeah, we were just looking at Okay. And then when you when he came up to her, where were you at? I actually just came, I probably walked a few feet towards him, but then he came all the way and I just stayed right there where that bed is. Okay, so you never had direct contact with her or anything? No. Mm -hmm. I haven't okay. touched her to be honest. Did you see anybody else get outside the vehicle? No, I just honestly, when I was sitting there, Sorry, I just saw her like, she just like blew out of the side. Okay. So that's, I figured she was... Okay, and nobody like took off running from the car or anything like that? She was the only one? She was the only one. Okay, do you have your idea on you by chance? Yeah. How was the night for you guys? Was it busy? Oh my god. With Garth Brooks and everybody yeah, in town? Yeah. <laughs> and my legs are like extremely tired from walking around. Three down, two to three. Get your more shots tomorrow. And it doesn't end tonight. We should have somewhere to go. Right? Yeah. It's a marathon.
get all the rest of you. I just need these two right now. I got the main guy who went and made initial contact with her in the collar. You can just get those two in the middle. What's a good address for you? It's the one on there. On here? Okay. So a good number for you. And when your friend came up, did you just call because of the crash that occurred, or did you see anything else that happened? Just because it occurred, because as soon as we, because we were just all sitting down, and we kind of just started like speeding. So I just literally, I just saw her car go over. I saw a little bit of flames at the bottom, and he was like, he like ran over here. Yeah. And he's like, just call 911. So I was like, okay. So I called. I watched a little bit of the news. Did you hear her say anything when you guys came out? Did you hear any comments? I honestly didn't. No, I just saw her open the door. She came out and she pretty much was like she was trying to push the car off, you know? Okay. Pretty much to show that she didn't do anything. Okay. That's about it. All right. Other than that, I don't have anything else. Do you think there's anything that I forgot to ask you? We're good. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your time. Go ahead. Seven Can you give me 889's uh, case number for this crash? And if you can start me at 46 one. Copy. What time was this discussion? Time of 97? I got it, bro. You just okay. grab those two 49s. Yeah, I got the statements, it. and I, I'll start the 46. Uh, okay.
Hey, Chavo. Is she Kimberly? I'll send her credit cards and her phone with you. Sure, man. All right, there's, the only thing I've gotten is the front. It's just miscellaneous uh, paperwork. Um, just a set of keys. And then to this Are side, there's... Keys the I think the key is going to be... Uh, there's one in the back, dude. So you have these ones. It looks like it actually takes a key, bro, but I can't find... I think it's back here, bro. She came out of the passenger seat. I don't know. No, she came out of the passenger side. I think it's this key, bro. Yeah. It's right here. It was in the back seat, bro. Um, there's two wallets I haven't gone through. There's some cash. She has she had one debit card inside the console and then she had a Visa debit card with her picture on it. Okay. With her phone right here. Oh. Everything else is Yeah, I I used the seven five eight two. I used the toll location from 700 South Cell for just, I think it's small, because it was the mall's uh, sign that got wiped out, so, yeah, that's some power, man.